Kelly Barner, the owner and managing director of Buyers Meeting Point and the host of Dial P for Procurement here on Supply Chain Now. I'm here today to define another commonly used and often misunderstood term that comes up a lot in procurement, and it's rationalization. Or actually, if you prefer the SpongeBob version, it's rationalization. So when we talk about rationalizing things, there's usually something that comes before that that we're trying to work on. The most common thing to be rationalized is suppliers. So if you have a category of spend, whether it's construction services, marketing services, legal services, it could be even something specific as office supplies. We're gonna look at the amount of spend and we're gonna say, how many suppliers do we really need to be buying whatever this product or service is from? Now keep in mind with economies of scale, typically the more spend you can bring together into one contract, the better the services you're going to get and the better the prices you're going to get, which is obviously very important to procurement. But here's the thing, we live in a risky world. And so sometimes what ends up happening is if we put all of the spend together into one pile with one supplier in one contract and something happens to that supplier or the logistics in between where that supplier is and us, we now have a supply chain disruption. Sorry, supply chain guys, we're trying not to do that to you. So there is such a thing as over rationalizing. You can say we have 100 suppliers and we think we should have less, but that doesn't mean that one supplier is always going to be the right answer. Usually you're taking a look and you're trying to make some strategic decisions about how many do we need? How are we gonna allocate our demand? Where should they be? Which ones will be primary and which ones will be secondary, right? We're being careful about it that way. Now the same thing applies when we're coming to spend. Are we spending the right amount in this category? Spend rationalization looks at how much money we spend in a given category in a given year and it attacks the demand. Now, usually the problem having to do with too much demand is something inside. Maybe we're being wasteful. Maybe there's backed up inventory that nobody is cycling through. Maybe, in fact, there's a quality issue and we're having to buy too much because we're concerned that we can't use the full volume of what we receive. So in either case, whether it's spend rationalization or supplier rationalization, we're looking at where we are today. We're benchmarking that. We're looking at the value that it offers to the business and how it happens to be that way. And we're figuring out a way to improve it going forward, probably by putting the spend together, coming up with a new vision for how we want it to look going forward and signing the right number of contracts for the right amount of spend with the right suppliers. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for learning about rationalization. And I look forward to seeing you at my next episode of Dial P for Procurement, the third Tuesday of every month here on Supply Chain Now.